Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of our podcast series where we dive deep into the world of contract management with an analyst from Deloitte, a global leader in the professional services. Join us as we uncover the strategies behind managing multiple contracts, ensuring compliance and mitigating risk in our today's fast-paced environment. Myself, Aprashita Kurt, a student of SNI. Let us welcome Mr. Anklesh Mahunta, an alumnus of SNI of Law, to our podcast, where we are blessed to have you with us today to enlighten all the law students about your experiences and also guide us through the same. Before jumping on the enlightening discussion of your work and experience, I would request you to please introduce yourselves to our viewers. Thanks a lot, Aprajita, and thank you so much for inviting me. And I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, like, it's been a crazy two to two and a half years after graduating uh, graduating out of SNI. And uh, like, I can't believe that a few years back, I was just be, uh, at your stage and I was rolling things behind the camera and now I'm in front of camera. But from that, uh, it's been really good. I have a roller coaster right till yet, and I would love to share my experience and guide you, guide you guys so well. Okay. So, how would you introduce yourself for for the first time to our viewers? So, like, um, I was just like you guys, a person who was wandering through the intricacies of law school, finding things, finding my way out of the law college. And once um, I got out of the college and I f figured out things, like I went into the Quizlix Legal Services, that, that was my first job. And after that, I got into a few things, like I went into contract management and I started to make a career out of it. And currently right now I'm in Deloitte and I'm working as a contract management analyst over there. And it's been around two to three months over there. So that's pretty good. So, yeah. so moving on forward, can you share us with a bit about your journey from graduating from college to entering to the legal corporate world? And what initially drew you to this field? So like in my college days, I was pretty much inclined towards business and commercial laws. So like I always had a touch of technical things. So like... Subjects like IPR, contracts, uh, competition law, investment law, always had my interest. So uh, the thing was, it was not limited to any demography. The concept of law was pretty much same around the globe. So I thought of making a career out in it. And uh, these fields were actually catching my attention as you can create a multidimensional platform over there. So like when I graduated, it was post-COVID. So the opportunities was limited. And at that moment of time, Quizless came to our college and uh, they came for placements. So I got into Quizless Legal Services. I learned about the legal process outsourcing industry, e-discovery, contract management. Then spending one and a half years over there, I turned out to get an opportunity in Deloitte and currently I'm working over there. So like what we study in college has a different kind of implication in our real life. Like contract management is completely different thing that we have studied in the college. But slow, slowly, thing, slowly once you get into the professional world, you will get to know the idea about it. So Indian contract act is very beyond the cheese. Like you get into commercial contracts, your key businesses may use your team. That's how I got into it. Certain we, uh, what have been some of the most rewarding aspects of working in the legal department of a contract corporate environment? So, like being in corporate gives you many multitude of experiences. Every day is not the same. You get diverse opportunities. You get to. Uh, interact with a lot of people across the globe. Like, I while I was in Quizlets, there were multiple clients who were, were basically overseas clients. And the businesses were multi-dimensional. 
like some of our clients would be from pharma industry, some of would be from investment, uh, sorry, insurance industry, some of maybe we also have dealt with uh, merger and acquisitions where we have to uh, submit certain documents for the to their regulatory bodies as well. Apart from that, not only just different businesses, you deal with sub different subject matters as well. You deal with cryptocurrency, you deal with pharma industry, you deal with banking and investment industries. So, like in corporate, you get a flavor of different kind of things. Yeah. So, uh, what does a typical day look like uh, for an CMA at Delta? So, like my day to day responsibility is to review existing contracts which Deloitte already has and make it feasible for our day to day use. And uh, as you see, Deloitte is a multinational company. We ha it has different kind of contracts across globe. So, demography wise, Bohat sare contracts have different subject matters regarding working. And since it has different kind of businesses, multi a multitude of contracts, uh, I'm exposed to a multitude of contracts. And uh, apart from that, I use CLM tools to make their maintenance of these contracts easy. Like I, have, I deal with renewal of contract, I deal with the um, termination of contract, I deal with what are the compliances that are to make, that has to be done your obligations of different parties and all. And also, I make a report on those contracts that which contract has been widely used and which contract has been lost its essence during the time. So, so you, that is the daily all of uh, contract management review analyst over there. Certainly, you enjoy your day then. Definitely, definitely. So it's a mixed bag. You have a time for yourself and you also put some down in the office and since it's a hybrid kind of thing so you do have your own space where you can work as well and you get to interact with different peers of uh, your office colleagues as well okay, so moving further uh, what skills do you think are essential for success in contact management especially in a dynamic environment like Benoit so like everything your basics needs to be covered like you ha need to have strong fundamentals. Like whenever you review a contract, you must dwell deep into the contract and at least understand what is the what's the subject matter regarding. Like you have contract ek ho, aapko ek basic understanding on each other ki kis regarding contract. Hai. Like if you are in if you are involving two parties, whether there is a this is a con uh, confidential key agreement, whether this is a non uh, whether it is an engagement letter. You have to first understand the contract, then you can make reviews out of it. Then you can identify the risk and what are the obligations that needs to be performed by both of the parties. So from creation to negotiation and from negotiation to execution of the contract, you need to understand how the contract has been created and how it's been executed. So after completing the basics, then you can actually review it, then you can actually understand it. And then with few contracts or, and then dealing with different kind of contracts. Once you get the practice of it, then you are good to go. Certainly. Uh, can you share some views on what excites you the most in the corporate sector and what is the reason for preferring the corporate sector and not litigation or judiciary per se? So like, I'll... These litigation and judiciary, I have these are really great fields. You can actually work upon it, but uh, I believe that corporate makes things easier. Like first of all, it is highly it it gives you a diverse kind of opportunity. It's highly collaborative, and you get to meet a lot of people and you get to learn a lot. Even uh, like if you're working with an agency or a corporate. You get to travel a little bit and uh, probably your pockets be satisfied with it. So that's why I uh, have chosen this path. And you get to know about a lot of businesses across the globe and you can get the idea that how these big corporates work. 
So you get into the money making business and you know how things are going to be in the near future and you can uh, actually chase things around and you can th see yourself in few years in a, at a managerial or a big uh, position in which you want to become, in which you want to be. And uh, that's it. Like, like I know the court work is a really good thing. Like litigation is very fun. Like, and I believe that it's better to get uh, acumen of different kind of businesses. Uh, like, a transitioning between companies can be a significant difference. So, what motivated you to switch from your previous company to your current one? And was there a specific opportunity or any challenges that influenced your decision? So, like, it's so when opportunities come to your way, you'll usually tend to accept it. And when you know that you have large most of uh, you have utilized most of your resources and you have learned what the place has to offer, you tend to look out for better opportunities or you tend to look out for a switch. So, like in Quizlex, as a legal associate, I had exhausted every resources that has came up on my way. And uh, after that, when I when I had got the idea how the things work, how things work, I started looking out for better opportunities. So once, uh, like, I have I still uh, have lot to learn, but I believe that I have utilized most of the learning from my previous organization. And once I thought that let's move to a better place and let's learn more that's the at that moment of time i found that i need to switch companies so now are you also even thinking of switching uh, again your companies or we are and like we do need to give some time to every place like um i stayed in quizless for one and a half years i Hope to stay here for more years than Quizlex. Uh, as long as I'm learning and I'm enjoying my work, I'll still continue. I'll still continue to be here. Indeed. Uh, what are your key challenges you face in the contract management, and how do you overcome them? So, while reviewing contracts, you need to do a lot of grunt work. Like you need to review the contract back and forth. You need to read the contracts multiple times just to identify your risk that has been imposing out of those contracts. And uske baad, uh, like after reviewing contracts, these contracts are voluminous. Aapke paas bohat bade bade contracts aata hai so that waha pe navigating through the clauses, sometimes you get lost in those clauses. These are the main challenges I believe I face. Apart from that, um, like most of the contract uh, uh, contract managers, they tend to hide secret. Uh, they tend to write things very secretively. Like you get lost in the uh, language of the contract, so you need to be very precise while reading them. And you also ha need to have a foresight, like what implications that these uh, clauses can get you into, like whether this clause is safe for me, whether this clause is actually open to arbitrariness or whether it is causing any kind of trouble to me further in my transaction. I need to keep an eye on that. So these are the major challenges. Also, while executing these contracts, it comes a challenge like the date and all. It's a very tedious task and it needs to be performed very meticulously. A checklist up local banana in the age of contract, uh, the you pet that. And what clauses do we need to see and what, uh, things we need to do while they do it? So, as you mentioned before, you enjoy your day. So, could you share a memorable experience or any project where you effective contact management made a significant impact? So, like, um, you must be knowing in contract that we have a termination clause, like when you yeah. have to terminate the contract. So uh, there is also a clause that is termination at will. 
So you can repudiate the contract or terminate the contract at your option. So it gives the right to either of the parties to terminate the contract. So like if a contract has this clause, um, you might face certain financial repercussions out of it. Like, agar aapne kisi ke saath contract kiya hai, and if the other party has an option to repudiate or terminate the contract at his option, at any moment of time, then you are at risk. Like, you can be a service provider, or you might be selling some things to a other, other party, and turns out he terminates the contract at a very fine day, then you are stuck with your process and you are actually stuck with the financial things. Like, you have already done this, but now the term, contract is terminated, now when will you sell it? So, to mitigate that, we came upon an addition to the clause. Like, if any advance payments has been made in lieu of the contract, in lieu of the service, those uh, advance payment shall not be refunded back to the other party if he terminates the contract at his options. So we actually created a safeguard around our contract by adding this clause. So like, was yes, so that's how we have to deal with contracts. So you have to deal with clauses accordingly. Like the other party won't uh, bother that if this clause is over here yeah and uh, right now if he sees that he has he won't be getting any refunds at least he won't be terminating your contract at his will and what so that's how you reinforce your contracts but oh, that's really a raving idea switching so companies often involves adapting to new cultures and dynamics so how do you navigate these changes and whether any surprises along the way so like coming from a small town and currently settling in Hyderabad, things have changed. I need to adapt it. I had to adapt uh, with the change of city, not only with the people around me, but also with the climate and the language barrier that me I had to face over in Hyderabad. But apart from that, you just need to have a positive attitude so that you can mix well with the people around. Like, if you have a warm nature, everybody will be welcoming you over there. And in a new organization, you should always come, go ahead with the zeal of learning. Like, you should always be this. You should always be So that they also feel valued. And at the same moment of time, they don't feel insecurity of you being over there and taking their position up. So... That's the thing. And uh, Quizlets had taught me a lot of things. Like it had given me, it had uh, given me a lot of opportunities as well. And it had taught me to, how to behave with everybody. It has given me the sense of corporate culture and how you need to behave and how you need to have a composure around people. And how you need to deal with your superiors as well as your juniors. And over here in Deloitte, these things are valued very much. Quizlex was definitely a stepping stone for me. And it has given me a lot of things. Uh, and it ha and I had to inculcate a lot of things which I learned from Quizlex. And it is it has turned out very valuable for me. And right now when I'm in Deloitte, I think that these things has helped me a lot. So uh, now I would further ask you, uh, looking back at all your experiences and reflecting on your experiences, what advice would you give to other legal professionals considering a home to a different company within the corporate sector? So like you need to get hold of the business or the industry you are in. This, applica uh, this is applicable to everybody. Like, you need to be up to date with the market. Like, when I was interviewing with different companies while I was making a shift, so I used to read newsletters. I used to look upon the uh, top experts in the industry and I used to follow them on LinkedIn. So whatever the posts they used to make, I tried to read those. I was attending webinars as well. 
that was posted in YouTube. And I had subscribed to many channels that were posting these kind of videos, which have helped me to get a better idea of contracts. And um, if anybody has to navigate through everything or interviews, one has to be up to date. So you need to be relevant in the industry. You need to know what's going on in the industry so that you can actually contribute anything to the table. Coming to SNI, in what ways do you believe your experience at SNI have contributed in your success in the legal corporate world and during your transition between companies? So like, first of all, SNI was my home. I was running errands in the college. Like, I was doing boards, I was doing different kind of activities. I was always available in different co-curricular activities and I always had a touch of academics with me as well. So like our faculties, the teaching, uh, the teachers over there and the concept of law that they imbibed in me through their teaching, I won't forget this through my lifetime. Like, I still remember that each and every contract class that was taken by Dr. Riti Shri Mishra and she is actually moved out of our college. I still remember how vividly she has taught me contracts. I still remember how Rahul sir has given me the basics of company law and how everybody in the college, especially Azad sir and his, and his civil laws, I will remember each and every class of it and because of that only I have some kind of knowledge that I can actually uh, help, I can actually guide you through because of that teaching only. So suddenly you enjoyed your college life? Yes, yes, it was very much happening. I'm sorry, I'm a little sad that the COVID had to happen in the final years of my college but apart from that I was really enjoying my college. Before you further, are there any specific skills or strategies you have found particularly helpful in managing transitions and establishing yourself within new environments and corporate environments? As I said earlier, you just need to be relevant. Like whatever you are bringing down to the table, it has to have some kind of substance in it. Like you should know what the world is going through. There are multiple resources online. There are newsletters, there are blogs, there are webinars that are happening. Just be attentive and you, as we all know, legal professionals need to be updated. Like along with the judgments and all, what the, like in corporate, you just need to be, uh, you need not actually read books that are, uh, like there are many things beyond textbooks as well. You need to go through like what kind of business deals are happening, how these deals are being made, what kind of things are they um, they are putting through. Like recently, before COVID, we didn't even know that there would be implications of post-failure clause. But right now, it creates a huge impact. Like people are well aware of those clauses, and people have. The, uh, mitigated a way throughout of these clauses and they are actually mitigating liabilities. So you just need to be relevant and you need to know what are the industry trends and what are the highlights of so, the Okay. Uh, looking ahead, I would uh, ask you what are your goals, end goals and aspirations within the legal corporate world and how do you envision your career path evolving in the coming years? So I'm actually not more than a fresher. It's been around two years that I've joined the company and I'm in the field. So I, like, as I had mentioned previously also, like a career is a span of 40 years. Like you cannot decide it within your initial days. I really hope forward that I move into this field. I gain a lot of perspective and I gain a lot of experience in the field of contracts. Like, during my internship as well, I was also thinking that, oh, I got to learn these things and all. But the thing is, you learn every day. So, okay. for right now, my career aspirations will be to 
be a successful manager or a successful negotiator in contracts but you never know what kind of things life is going to throw at you so fingers crossed i am happy to be in corporate right now i don't know what will be my perspective within the next few years but yes i'm enjoying my paths that i've chosen till date and i believe that i'll continue to do so Okay. Uh, finally, what lessons or insights have you gained from your experience that you would like to share with our audience, and especially those who may be considering similar career moves as of yours? Like, uh, me, I'm no preacher, but uh, I can only help you out with things that, uh, like you need to be relevant, get strong fundamentals, uh, action. Take part in co-curriculars as well as in competitions and keep a hold of your academics as well. Because uh, like scoring well in exams will, yes, definitely help you, uh, help you establish the fact that you have really well foundation. But you also need to interact with people. You need to grow as an individual. So you have to have a holistic approach towards everything. Like if you're studying, you you have to study properly, make notes, and you get uh, have an idea of the relevant things that is going around the globe. Apart from that, um, be connected with people of different industries and gain insights from the them. And uh, like till date, I know that uh, law as a subject, it might have different acts, but the concept of law is same around the globe. Like different section, uh, the sections might be different, but the concept is the same. Like in- lastly, yep. Lastly, would you like to share? Yes, you wanted to say something. No, no, no. Please try to go. Okay. Uh, lastly, would you like to share some light on your experience of five year journey at Asanil, and what advice would you give to your juniors? Three. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. So. First of all, try to enjoy as much as you can in your college days. Like, uh, segregate your day, make plans with your friends, as well as keep your studies in line. Because legal in the legal field, the things uh, a student faces in a law school is very much different than in other graduations. Like you have to be sporty enough to go to internships. You have to be attending moots. You have to attend seminars, as well as you need to party hard so that you can maintain your mental sanity over there. So get involved in co-curriculars as well as in academics. Create a holistic uh, resume of yourself so that you will be uh, very much relevant in the market. Like. A person needs to be very much holistic in its uh, nature, and I repeat that mostly because if this is what the today's uh, job market is looking out. Like if a person is very much the well versed with the time management and he has managed a lot of stuff, including his accounts, they will definitely um, have a preference over you than other guys. So enjoy as much you can, learn as much you can, take part in everything, be a space of everything. That's my advice to you. Huh. I was really amazed by your LinkedIn profile. Like as you mentioned, that you visited the district courts and the session courts and even the supreme court. So how was your experience over there? So like I tried to gain a lot of experience in different arenas. I had experience in a corporate world in an MNC. Like during my internship experiences, I have uh, experience in law firms as well, in courts as well, and as well as in different corporates. So to gain this kind of multitude of experience, I actually gained a lot of insight of different markets. I gained the insight of how things work in courts, how things work in corporates. How things work in uh, a law firm. 
and that experience has given me an idea how uh, has given me the idea that what profession or what kind of job that I I want to do like I have uh, like currently that the job that I'm holding was really close to my heart and I found out that I love contracts during my internship only so you should have a multitude of experience like during these five years expose as many subjects or as many as as you can so that you get an idea like what you want and what you're good at and then you can start making money out of it um uh, moving further i would ask you uh, out of all your internships and jobs where did you get the major learnings and what were the most of it if you would like to sum sum it up every place has its own learnings but um, quizlets being my first job i started it from scratch i learned a lot from it i learned the corporate culture i had a, I got the idea of how businesses work. I got into different kind of subject matters over there. And currently in Deloitte, I still have to learn a lot because it's only been two months or three months that I've joined over here. I've joined this January only. So there are much learnings that are coming up to my way. I cannot segregate uh, like in this part, I've learned a lot and that, and that internship I've not learned. Every day was a learning experience for me. And somewhat or other, you will realize at the later part that oh that day that i learned that uh, kind of thing uska 10 saal baad aapko experience mein aapko help aa sakta hai so you cannot to vouch that where you have learned the most like internships was very great i had vivid internships and right now i'm also loving my job over here so try to learn a, a new thing at the day Thank you, sir. Coming to the end of this session, first Thank and so foremost, much. I would first and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to my aunt Yashwaya for graciously sharing his time and expertise and invaluable insights with us. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Thanks a lot for inviting me. It's been an honor talking to my juniors and. Uh, literally, like few years back, I was just behind the lens and by time in front of it. um like it's an overwhelming experience for me your journey from student to accomplished professional serves as an inspiration to me as well as all of us to the viewers also and thank you so much for again for coming to the podcast that's the end of it today's podcast thank you for joining thanks a lot for your time have a great day